got to have a lot of heart. You got to have a lot of soul. You got to have a fat gap. A brother better be strapped. And we hiding this motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to stop cussing or cursing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I need to utilize my vocabulary to the best of, of my ability. But look here, man. I'm excited today. We got a legendary cat up in here, you know. And everybody know who this is, man. If you ever was fucking with Dank, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, then you know what I'm talking about. But Hostile Takeover brings you another episode of Keeping It 100 with Zoda Roaster and Maisha Poo. With the motherfucking legendary Pooh Man. Pooh Man. Legendary make me feel old. <laughs> Shit, I'm a legend. They call me legend all the time. I'm like, why? You older than me, though. I mean, I'm. How old are you? The 51. Nigga, man, you we the same age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older than you. Ain't that a bit? 51. I'm 51. Ooh, damn, was that 71? 71. January, baby. Me too. I'm a Capricorn. Oh, you one of them. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, you know, I, I touch Aquarius. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. wife is Aquarius. Shout out to my beautiful wife. Yeah. With her crazy ass. We gotta hey. do a party together there. You and my wife? No, us, bruh. I'm just saying, you need to, <laughs> <laughs> to calm down. <laughs> hey. Ah, no, me and Fab was supposed to do it one year, but. Yeah, uh, he's an Aquarius also, yeah. yeah. That nigga, check this out. That party he threw for that week. That was for the ages, huh? That yeah. motherfucker, boy. Yeah. No fights. No, no drama. Nothing. I love that. That nigga Jesus. Yeah. You didn't know that? <laughs> Black Jesus. Yeah, I looked up at the, I did my homework. He's, he saw his picture. He's, he's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man, let's get on Pooh Man. Pooh Man, you you know, you come a long way, man. You from seminary nah. or the village? Uh -uh. Everybody do that. Bromley? Thing. Where you from? Nah, I'm from, bro, I'm from 72nd. Look, you from, I was you born in, from I, I'm from the Dukes. I'm going to tell you why, okay? I was born and raised in the village. Right. Okay? I bagged up off of it when I started rapping and started getting deep off into the music because I took, the first person I ever took my um, demo to was Ricky Jeter. Right. They chose C. Yeah. Bruce Kane. Because of, wait, man, who, man, who is this? It's me. He was like, it's us. Threw the bag in the back. It's us. <laughs> Bruce from the Dukes. You know, my cousin there since. Bruce was a beast too. Yeah, he is. He, man, he was. But he had a big ass heart, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm telling you, you know? we usually do. I'm talking about yeah. the cats, the he cats had that had that, that that push and that 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 movement like that. Usually, hearts as big as a motherfucker. Yeah. So Bruce you know was the mean? only one that really believed in you. You took the words right. I, I told him that. I told my manager that he was the only one who believed in me at that point. You know, everybody thought oh, I was just going to be put. I had a name before rap, but my name came from street shit. When I jumped off into the music, people was like, hmm, can you rap? I, was like, I think I can. <laughs> How old were you I when you started I rapping? Uh, I, started, I was 15. So you already had a name before 15? Uh, uh, yeah, I already had a name. Wow. No, I, 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 I will attest to that because I called some people like, just to be honest, all I really knew you from was rapping. I really didn't know you in the streets like that, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I called and I talked to some people that grew up with you. They say you used to fight a lot. <laughs> yeah. And that you, like, you know what I'm saying, they, they followed you. Yeah. You know J-Mo? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, J, he, he <laughs> talk highly of you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I didn't know that about you, so... Tell us what was that all about growing up, man, I, and, and living and living that type of lifestyle. I came up out of the village, uh, you know. My mother. So you are from the village. I'm born in '69. I yeah. was born. I was born in '69. I don't claim '69. Um, my mom was one of them. You know, the mothers you don't run. You don't fuck. You fight. Right. I took off running, and she was in the window one day, and I tried to try the door, and I heard that motherfucker lock. Oh. Uh. Uh. No running, fight that bitch, and I had to fight it. This dude was whew, bigger than me. So that once I fought him, well, I'm running from anybody else. I just started, you know. What's his name? Was Cornelius? No, his name was David Smith. Oh, Did he uh, hate you? I had huh? to fight a nigga what like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> we go black motherfuckers. 
Whoop my ass. Day Day was a, you know, you probably know Big Day Day. You know, used to be with Byron and them over there on 77. I remember that was, that, that was my, Day 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 was my, my, you know, my mountain. Nemesis. I had to get over that. Yeah. No, nah, we was the good after nemesis. that. We was good after that. That was just a fight we had to have. But you fought back. Hell yeah. And that's one thing about the cats in Oakland. We weren't taught to fight, you know, fight back. No matter if you win, lose, or draw. It's Anybody. because you didn't get any respect. Anybody. If you didn't fight back. Well, you why know, did he want to fight you? Was he a bullying? Nah, it was about his sister. Uh, <laughs> I liked his sister. You wouldn't okay. be down. I'd be fucking people's sister. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> No, no you know, you she was, happened. hey, Crystal was the prettiest, blackest girl off in that village, man. Yeah, you had to get and it. And she liked me, I liked her, but her brother wasn't having it. So he caught us kissing it, and he, I broke. <laughs> I seen a mountain chasing me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I had to run. Mom clicked that door. Day they lit it in my ass like he got there. Huh? Day they had that nigga trying to go in the house. <laughs> that excuse me, I'm stuffed up. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, you gotta leave that shit alone. They, they, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I get piss tests two or three times a week. Sometimes I work for the port. That's you know cool. they. That's cool. You able if to it show up any blue in that motherfucker, I don't give a damn Look, if it's you know it, what color it is. Going to jail. <laughs> yeah, you gonna get kicked out of here. I just had one of my partners get ran over. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's my nigga too. Yeah, ran over. Yeah, he got ran West. over by a car. Um, no, West? by by a hosser. You know what a hosser is? I don't. A hosser is the thing, oh, oh, the I'm big thing that moves. Uh -uh. He moved. The hossers over. move loaded containers that go on the ships. Mm. They bag up to it. He got caught in the middle of them. Yeah. 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 He okay. He he ain't okay, guy. Yeah. You know, he, he living. So he okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, that was some heavy shit. Oh. I got a quick question I want to ask you. Where the fuck? Put your arm under uh, the coat. Oh, yeah. thanks. Before it pop off. Where did you get the name Puma? I don't know. This is my, this is my scenario. You, you came out and you, you little baby. You looked like the Pillsbury Doughman. No, I that wasn't came Puma. out and I looked like Winnie the Pooh. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, Winnie, Winnie, the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I looked like Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid. My mama named me Pooh. It was, I knew you know, what I it was Pooh Bear. Yeah. My mother tell, uh, one day I walked up to her in the kitchen and said, I, I ain't no bear, I'm, my name Poo Man. And I changed my <laughs> own name. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, so yeah, Poo Man that. just stuck with me. I love, uh, you know, she, that was my, that was my road dog, you know. Yeah. I, I want to go back to Bruce. Like, yeah. what he meant to you. I see you got his chain on. The chain says Bruce on your chain. And like you said, he's the only one really believed in you. How did he jumpstart your career? Did he invest financially? Well, that that Bruce, I had went fishing. Let me tell you the story. I had went fishing, and my mom, you know, as soon as I came down off of the hill, I was up in the hills fishing. And I came down, and my mom said, "Boy, Bruce been looking for you." I'm like, "I ain't done nothing." And she like call him, so I hit him. I'm like, "Cuz, what's happening?" He like, "Bruh, who is this?" He was riding. You hear you hear out to the bitches in the back. He like, "Bruh, this you?" He said, "Meet me in front of the store." So I got to get in the shower. I got in the shower. Went down in front of J and M. He pulled up, and he was playing fucking with Dank. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying? He was playing out to the bitches, and he was like, "This really you, cuz?" Like, yeah. He said, "Who you fucking with?" And I said, "I was talking to Rick, Ricky Jeter." He was at, uh, uh. He took a bag, threw it in the back seat. It's we, we doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> seventeen thousand in the bag. He shot you, he shot wow. you back. Yeah. And it's crazy. He was wearing jewelry like that back then. Yeah. Bruce they, had nobody all... Nobody never enhanced it? Bruce had... No, I ain't let nobody touch this. Yeah, and he was wearing jewelry like Bruce that had, back then. Look, Bruce had the Nefer... Bruce was like the Nefertiti head, and he had the Nefertiti, he had the big-ass lion head. He had a bigger one, a big-ass lion head, but it was gold. You know what I'm saying? He had... He, hella Rolexes. You know, that was his... That's yeah. his name, Lex. Sure, it was Bruce, John John... Bruce, John John, James Smith, Ahmad, James, D, Smith. James Barker, right. Anton, Mello, Old School, you know. If it went for them dudes, I mean, I wouldn't be who I am. Oh, you know they was mob. They was mob. They had a lot of respect. So how did Ricky Jeter feel about you going with Bruce? Was it conflict? Yeah. or? No, nah, it wasn't no conflict. We're, we're, you know, all of us was fucking with each other anyway. But, you know... I would have loved, I still, I mean, I, me and Rick, that's somebody I look up to. You know, I would have loved to fuck with Rick back then. Yeah. But, 
God pushed me another way. I dealt with my cousin because I'd have never thought he wanted to be my producer. Yeah. And somebody throw you seventeen thousand, you you know you you yeah. follow him. You know what I'm saying? He told me I couldn't sell dope no more. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you got into the game like that as far as getting him to fund your operation. Yeah, we hopped in. I hopped in the car and we went and found. He said, "Who you want to fuck with?" I said, "Aunt Banks." That day. <laughs> We went over to Ann House on the, um, he stayed with his mom over there off a hundred, I believe a hundred half. And that was it. You know, we banked some money and we was in the studio with Bobby Ben Joe's. See, but that's not, that wasn't the beginning of my rap career. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't know, but the, the first person to ever take me to a studio was EA Ski. Okay. Right. EA Ski was the first person to ever push me. He, he seen the talent in me. Yeah. We didn't have the money that we needed back then. Yeah. So EA Ski, we had a uh, Cartel Productions. EA Ski sees something, me, me and me, him and Vern, he took me up there and I'm like, these niggas got a quill, look at all this equipment, you know? Yeah. He was the one who taught me how to count so bars. Had and all that type of shit. EA Ski taught me how to count bars, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's my boy. Yeah, EA Ski is the shit. Oh yeah, yeah. his history code. Yeah. Yeah. So you 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 rapping and then you get in, you get in there with Bruce. <clears throat> What's the first song you dropped? The first song I did was "Out to the Bitches." He liked it that one. Yeah, the way he got it, he got it from Chris, cause Christine, I knew her, and Bruce was messing with Christine at that point. So Christine had it. That's where he got it from. And he was, she was, this your cousin? Like, what? Who? It's Pooh Man. Huh? Let's start so he didn't know you was rapping? Nah, we didn't hang like that, bro. Well, so when you got with Bruce, what was y'all doing? Bruce was over there and I was over here. You know, just because we family don't mean we grind together. You know that. Oh, okay. I was over on Seminary. Right. And he was over on 72nd. Yeah. You know, we seen each other, you know, but at the time when I started going to the studio, paying for my own studio time, he wasn't around. So right. a lot of parallels to Lil Vidal. How they hopped around. But right. you claim. Can y'all cut one this for a minute? Well, yeah. Can we cut this for a minute? Most definitely. Yeah. Where you got that shit from? That was 88. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> man, you can't find you can't find no Peruvian no more, man. I wonder that. Wonder yeah, that I know. Again. I know. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. I used to be high as a motherfucker off that shit. You know what I mean? We were just talking about you, man. You talking about you? You talking about me? I used to hear all kind of shit about you. Yeah, but th this is my show. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get your show, then interview me. I gotta yeah. tell you. I'm gonna do it. Watch. I'm gonna yeah, do it. Yeah. Now you can interview watch. me now. Ask me a couple questions. Yeah, man. So, what? What's the definition of that name, Zoda Roasted? Where did that come from? That came from Hot Lips. Hot Lips gave me that name. The situation that went down. <laughs> and um. You know, we ain't got to go that deep. Yeah, that, but that's, you know, but, but, that's but you know a, that's, that's to embrace question. me too. Huh? That's a question. That's a question that uh, I, I refuse to answer. Yeah, he embraced yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah. No, he, no. Uh, 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 King D embraced me. Yeah, Dwight. Yeah, Dwight Family. King D embraced me into. In case you guys don't know the Kumi African Nation organization, but um, yeah, no, some something went down. We was out here mobbing, and some went down. He said, yeah. man. You the roaster. <laughs> it fits you. Right. Yeah, yeah, no doubt it about it. And it was just then. You know, cause I was just Zoe at first, but then, you know, since then I liked it then. I was like, I mean, yeah. I'm, yo, yo, ho, get in. I mean, things about you that I hear, like, you know, you've been sort of like the, like the peace man. You know what I'm saying? When something yeah. go down, you try to bring peace to it lately. Yeah, no doubt you about know it. What I'm saying, I, I, and I respect that because where we both came from, that wasn't the case. Yeah, you know, you know, you know like I told him, motherfucker, I got something going on right now. 
called on CTAC, Conversation to Avoid Confrontation. And a lot of times, a lot of that shit happened when we were growing up because we didn't know how to communicate. Damn we, right. only, the only way we communicate, grab that Biscuit, thing and, 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 and go to it. And segueing into that, you was doing a lot of that. Yeah. You know, from, from my from my understanding, you know, I didn't know about the street poo man. You know what I'm saying? I knew about the rap artist. And, and you know what I'm saying? He was pretty dope. You know, the nigga wasn't super duper dope, but the nigga was dope enough to, to make people say, you know, I'll listen to that. I want that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and uh, you I, know, I used to love that though, right? But I want to get to this. You was in the streets fighting, robbing, and and <laughs> popped a couple motherfuckers, right? Allegedly. I'm just saying allegedly. <laughs> but I didn't know nothing about that though until until you went to jail for the Walgreens robbery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You went to jail for Walgreens robbery. You got Walgreens? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean it's the statute of limitations up. I'm gonna tell you something. Walgreens don't deposit their money into the end of the week. Okay? <laughs> If you look into Walgreens and how much money Walgreens make, we had an inside dude. We hit him. We had already hit him once. Yeah. Check you know check that out real quick. Look into that. We already quick. hit him once. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? We had already went. We, we had an inside. Open the safe. You know that's oh, before they make the drop on Friday. It's all there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But and you was how? Uh, when I did that shit, I was ready to go to prison. And that was a little bit later. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a little bit later. I I went to prison on that, and then I turned around and came home and went back to prison on the bank robbery. Yeah. I did five on that, sixteen on the other one. So, were you still rapping when you was robbing? Yeah. Yeah. And you was on drugs. Yeah, I was snorting hops, snorting powder. You what, know. what else? Hopping powder. Hopping powder. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never did nothing. What made you get into that? Weed. Huh? What did made you, you, was you Belushi? Um, you know what? That's a that that's a cold question because I had never touched shit until December the third, nineteen ninety. December the third, nineteen ninety is when Bruce died. Okay. I. Oh. Okay. Me and my partners. After that, you know, we had I, allegedly some dudes that did it. And we knew who they were, and we was hunting. And I seen my partner. He always had the shit. That's what he did. And I was like, bro, let me hit that. Just, I just ask for it. Yeah, because from my understanding, how make you worse? Mm. It kill a whole lot of shit in you. And I didn't want to feel. Yeah. I didn't want to feel shit at that time. And right. they, you got to think, I, they just took something from me. I mean, right. something that meant the world to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Me and his relationship, me, him, John, John, James, Barker, all of us, every, everybody was crushed. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit shouldn't have happened. But it did. Yeah. And I was trying to kill everything in me and go hunting. And that's where it started. I had never fucked with nothing at all. Weed, yeah. But heroin and coke, never. Right. So that's where that it started. That shit the demon out in you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And how I was before as a kid, pull, pulling out at parties, popping at motherfuckers, that wasn't what we was doing. We was riding around with assault rifles. Right. Mm. I had a red and white Echoline van. <laughs> what, you remember, um, why well, I can say this shit? You remember what, traders? Remember yeah. the Gatlin gun traders had in the back for sale? Yeah. I scrapped that motherfucker into a red and white Echoline van. Straight up. $8,000 for that gun. Right. I just got the money. It just, it was, I was out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight, I, you know, I wanted heads. Yeah, real emotion. Yeah, I wanted heads. Yeah, and that snorting we'll... hop and snorting powder riding around trying to kill that, that feeling. Because when, once you ain't on that shit and you got to feel that shit, that's something entirely different. That's a... That's too much emotion at one time. Right. right. So did the did the people that did that to him were they brought the to people justice? we thought did it didn't. I'm gonna leave it at that. Right. What what made you stop? Is it when you went to jail? I want, um. No, yeah. I think it was getting high in jail. I know it's, it's worse I, we than was jail, born in jail. You know, yeah. <laughs> we was born in jail. But I heard I, about I, it. Yeah, we was born in jail. I was trying to get to this prison. <laughs> We was, was at, we had the yard. I you know what I'm saying? I was free. I was trying to get to the prison. They were there. What was you at? Chuck Chuck getting so high. I was at you Chuck probably Chuck know my sister. The first time, and then CIW the second time. You probably know my sister. Who? Katrina. It's a prison. Yeah, Katrina you. Sims. She a lifer? Mm -mm. She out now. Thank God. Yeah, this was yeah. like 1992. <laughs> yeah, that's my twin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you you was in the game a lot of, and we want to touch on this also. Um. You got into some beefs 
with some rappers. You got yeah. a beef with Short? Yeah. And Dilly Dog? Yeah. I had Sonny? A, I, bottom line, I had a, I, man, I had beef with the Dangerous the Crew. The Dangerous Crew. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, and that was young, not paying attention, you know, because I can stand here in front of you now, and one of the worst things, one of the things I, w I wish I could have did was talk to Rapper Ron before he passed, because I got it. You know, I got him in the album groom. Right. Did what I did to him. Um, then I got his sonny. Still try to reach out to his sonny. It's, I was an angry ass kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And I felt that Randy, Randy Austin, but I didn't put it on Randy. I put it on Short. Because Short was the one who brought me to Dangerous. You know what I'm saying? I came to Dangerous because of Too Short. So I'm just blaming it on Short. It wasn't Short's fault. Half of the shit that was going on, Short didn't know nothing about. And I, luckily, I got the chance to come home and sit down with him and apologize to him, you know. And Short been one of my, you know, <laughs> part of my backbone since Short I've been my back. Nigga. Short a good you know nigga. what I'm saying? If it's a show, I'm on it. You know, he yeah. bring me out on stage. If he, you know, you got to look at. They gave, put me in a position, to be a fucking star. And then not fuck being a star without the money. Randy Austin was doing shit behind the scenes that wasn't cool, and I blamed it on Short. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then they made get in where you fit in, and it got a little worse because, and one of the lines is say, your mama <coughs> pussy smell like the gutter. So, right. Hisani. And don't nobody disrespect Miss Bessie. You don't do that. Right. Anybody, my mother was against it. She was going to send somebody at Hisani ass. Right. You know, and instead, I, I took care of it. Yeah. But. You stopped your show at a concert. Yeah. <laughs> and went and waited for the nigga. <clears throat> we was um, <laughs> we was at the Oak. Um, what is that? The, uh, Henry J. Co no, not the Henry J. Cotton. That hotel downtown. It was a Black Music Expo, mm -hmm. and um, I was on stage <laughs> with Conscious Daughters, and somebody came and whispered to me, "His Sonny coming through the front door." I'm like, yeah. all right, hey, I have to go. Like, huh? Mm -hmm. I gotta go. <laughs> Walk down. They said, "You right there." Wait for him to come through, and we did what we did. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I was pissed. You don't disrespect my mother, man. It ain't something you do. I ain't gonna say nothing about your mama. <laughs> what about Spice One? Me and Sp Spice got in it. He was guilty by association. I told so you, I was just mad. Yo, you whoop Spice ass? Nah, man. It, it, Spice actually, I'm gonna tell you, eBay stopped all of that with me and Spice. Right. Ebay, I love that dude. He brought Spice to the Alvin Groom. Man, shout out eBay. I ain't heard from eBay. Yeah, he, um, he brought Spice to the Alvin Groom. <laughs> With me and Tony only mm -hmm. and John John and he set us down and he was like, ain't good. You know, he ate some gumbo, ate some crab and left, so you know, left it alone. Fun. Nah. Mm -mm. Did you okay. whip the Sonny? Yeah. <laughs> Beat the shit out of Sonny. Sorry, bro. But you don't you don't speak on my mom. Yeah. And right. do I do I feel fucked up about it? No, I don't feel fucked up about fighting the Sonny, but I would I would like to put it in the past. Yeah. You know, because I haven't had about. a chance to right, talk to right. him. With me um you don't disrespect nobody's mom. Right. And being that my mother was in the shit, you know what I'm saying? His son, he got off light. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all cool now, right? Who? Or? I ain't seen his son. Oh. I've been home seven years. I've reached out, told people if they see him, tell them to hit me. I gave my numbers to people. He won't hit me. I mean, That's I can't crazy. make them. You have been home for about seven years. <coughs> what about your book? Hmm? You wrote a book. Um. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't done anything with it. Um, me and, I mean, first, it was circulating for a minute because yeah, people had it, but they didn't have out. it. Yeah, but people didn't have. I copied it when I was in prison and let people read it. Oh, but you didn't distribute. I never it. distributed. I, it, it, I still got it. I mean, I haven't done anything with it. Sean, Sean, my cousin, Sean Ramsey, he um, keeps Shout saying we gonna Sean do something, Ramsey. you know. Stone. But right now, I'm focused on this new album, my last album. This is my last album. Um, my clothing line and my, you know, my marijuana strings. That's what I'm going at now. What is your clothing line? FWD clothing. FWD clothing. Come on, you, you, you figure that Dane. out. Fucking with Dane. Fucking Fuck with Dane. FWD clothing. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's dope, that's, yeah, that's dope. What, um, we, you, what we, about your strings yet? Um, luckily, you know, I didn't holler at a couple of cats. I hollered at Fody. I hollered at some people who could put me in touch with people who grow the strings. And somebody got back at me, and they they want to know what you know what you want this weed to do. How you want a head high? You want a body high? 
you know, I got to sit down, you know, and tell him what I want. Now I'm going to wait and see if they give me what I want. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So, yeah, but I'm doing it. I sure. mean, me and my cousin, yeah. we, hi we we hiring Fab as um, marketing and, you know, Fab, we need to get this. I, I mean, every, every, everything else is, you know, moot. Wait, wait, I got a question. Yeah. Back to Bruce with the music. Yeah. Do you think, as far as music, that Bruce, if he was still living, he would be like the next Suge Knight? In that okay. Bruce, we had, after me, Numb already said it, but we was going to get the loonies. Uh, some got mixed up, and Chris Hicks got into the picture. I just, Bruce couldn't stand Chris Hicks, but... Yeah, but we was going to... Why? He couldn't stand them. Because Bruce wanted the loonies. Oh. Bruce wanted the loonies. It's just something came up that it had nothing to do with music. And we was in another place when we when, when we was t when he was talking to them. You know, he had to cut that and deal with some serious shit. Right. I got put on the back burner, but I was already in the studio. I, I just kept... You, you use my money and go to the studio. You know what I'm saying? He'd give it back. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, but... Bruce but really he was trying to elevate. Yeah, he wanted out. He wanted out. He wanted out the game, and he was going to do it through the music. Mm, yep, like everybody else. Like everybody else. Yeah, like everybody else. Most definitely. You know, he, he was short. He was short. I mean, yeah. um, December the 3rd changed a lot of people's lives, man. December the 3rd. That's the day he died. What year was that? 1990. 1990. Four, uh, yeah, I, got, I can still remember. Time I got my phone, the phone call. Everything. It was a drought then. <clears throat> I think it was a drought right then. You we couldn't find no coke. When the drought, we ain't never had a drought. <laughs> Shit. Why are you worried about it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just remember. I'm reminiscing. Yeah, but hey, we never had mean? a drought. We, we didn't have a drought. Y'all didn't have no we drought. We didn't have no drought. Shit, a lot of them shit. droughts, man, made. You what knew duck that, at? Well, we used to have droughts, huh? Droughts. <laughs> you know what we would do? We would go to Richmond. <laughs> That's why I found out about Richmond. I'm like, what the fuck is... But we had moved to Richmond, and I was the line from Richmond to Oakland mm -hmm. pertaining to us finding some motherfucking dope. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> back to the pool man, motherfucker. Listen, man. So you got the strain coming. You got the fucking with dank clothing, clothing. line. Mm -hmm. Your project. What you got out? Um... I just dropped, I mean, I just dropped the song, you know, it was a, just saying thank you to the people that was, you know, that deserved it. Um, right. You know, it's called All I Know. Um, spoke to Bruce and, you know, spoke to my, you know, my daughter's mom and spoke to my partner Marcus. Marcus been with me since he was, damn, I think 12. Mm -hmm. He's been around me all this time, man. Ain't never went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always had my back. So I had to, you know. Yeah. Had to speak to him. Yeah, you know, I like the video. You know, I do too. Of, yeah. I liked it. I liked. It. I said, you know what? Yeah, he, I like the song. As a matter of fact, yeah, thanks. I said, okay, my brother also Big C. I don't know if you know who that is, but he liked the song too, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, and thank we you. And, and 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 we 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 hip hop a, um, aficionados as far as like we. I like I like lyrics and I like. You know what I'm saying? Showmanship and delivery and yeah. things of that nature. And you I showed like your voice. You showed all that. Everybody said that. it ain't changed. Yeah. Right, my, right. My voice ain't yeah. I don't know why though. I mean, I hear it change. Don't nobody else hear it change. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Any, no, anybody want to collab shit. with? Who I want to collab with? Yeah. Um of course I can collab with anybody in the Bay Area. I mean I know everybody. People that I want to collab with, yeah. I'm going after them now. I got people that's in Wisconsin that got ties to Dirk. I got people that's in Texas with ties to Lil Baby. I want to fuck with them. Okay. You know, that's what me. I'm, I'm. I'm going. It's just not. I want to. I am making it a point to go after them. Yeah. You know so do you feel your age is a um, an obstacle? Nah, I can touch any music. Any music. You give me a track, I ride it. And it ain't like yeah, I but stand. You know they have place. a stigma in rap music, like oh this old ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, Holly Short? Huh? Holly Short. Yeah, and he's still performing and, and selling shit him. out. Snoop you know Dogg. Snoop. Uh, Cube. 40. 40. All these niggas. Yeah. So, I so ain't yeah, so. Me. Yeah. I ain't letting nothing stop me, bro. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's what I want to. I want people to understand that, you know, music doesn't have an age. No, I don't. And rock stars 
and, and, and the country singers and all <laughs> that though, you know what I mean? Them motherfuckers be bent over on stage. Ozzy. You know what I mean? <laughs> look at Ozzy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he look like a skeleton on stage and he's still rocking. Come on, man. So we, we, we got to make sure that we utilize that, you know, and I say that about Spice One, you know, that's how he take care of himself. Yeah. Spice One, all he do is rap. He don't know how to do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna catch that nigga working at nobody's store. Nope. Or nothing. He get paid from his catalog. Yeah. You know what I mean? He get paid from his catalog. That's how he pay all his bills. You know, that's my nigga. Yeah. So I grew up with Spice and and and, 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 and that's my family. So he did he so I'm pretty sure he told you when I was I just the tried to call chase. the nigga. He I didn't tell you about the high when, I, when no. I got arrested? No, he didn't tell me that. That's why I was just trying to call the nigga and ask that nigga. What happened between? Cause I was listening to your interview on Vultures. Yeah. On No Vultures. Shout out No Vultures. Yeah. They, me and Spice, me and Spice. When I came home for the first time, I I, I was signed to um, Super Side Records with um, with Ted Bohannon. Right. And I was like, yeah, I gotta reach out to Spice. So I reached out to Spice. Reached, I even got Vidal on that album, but I reached out to Spice and. Spice came through. Me and, me and Spice got together and we did. He got on the track. So when I got in trouble, I was in Modesto. I was high speeding in Modesto for the bank robbery. And I'm trying to get to Spice to his house, right. uh, near his house, so I can go to him, ditch the car and go to his house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's where I was trying to go. And you know, that's my, me, that's my nigga, man. Yeah. Spice, it was, I, Spice, the situation with me and Spice was, I was just mad. I was just angry. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt motherfuckers like with Banks, I felt when they when, when we got into it, he should have left with me. But I can't talk about another man bad. Today where is your anger level at? Your anger level. I really don't get angry. Right. I really don't. I'm more I'm, I hear you I'm, say I'm, that you're a different person now. I'm I'm a Shahadatay Muslim. I that Islam saved me. And I know a lot of people say religion saved them. Not with me, Islam did save me. You know, I I had lost my mom when I was gone. I lost my dad. Uh, I was, I went, everybody know, but I'm not diagnosed with cancer. I fought everything by myself. My, my, my first wife disappeared. I was going through hella shit in prison. And I had to deal with it on my own, you know. So I kept getting into fights. And this um, officer, lieutenant, she was like, oh, Pooh Man, no. She was a Pooh Man fan, for real. <laughs> and um, she said, you got to go to the hole this time. So I was in the hole 90 days. Mm -hmm. And on the third month, Rashid, my boy Rashid Zinnemann had told her to let me out. You know? And, you know, he was a Muslim. He was the head of the Mu my Muslim chapel. And he right. said, I got him. She came to my door and said, I'm going to classification. Do you want to get up? Rashid didn't want you to come. Because I, I kept saying no. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. I said, yeah, I go. Did and I started doing Ramadan. On the last day of Ramadan, you took your shahada. I broke. It. You know, I hadn't cried over, over shit, bro. Yeah. And my you mom had got out. killed. I. It was a wait, and I so took it. Your mother it. got killed. No, my mother died from congestive heart failure. My father got killed. Right. Yeah. But people always say uh, the nation of Islam saved them. Like I'm not. Or, Let's get right. I'm not nation. Oh, it's two Muslim. different things. I'm Muslim. I'm what is what Al is it, Islam? Is, how they save you? When you it, it 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 with me, it was a spiritual thing. I had kept worrying about everything I had lost, and when that weight lifted above me, I recognized everything that I still had from my kids. Just my daughter sent me an ultrasound. My first granddaughter. If you my my record company is called Anira, that's my granddaughter's name. She, that ultrasound pushed me. I kept worrying about what I didn't have, and I still had this. I still yeah, had jewels, yeah. right. but I was so angry. Yes, yeah. it was like a, just a spiritual uplift, and I and I just. Yeah. You know, I've been in this. The teachings, the doctrines. Yeah, I'm talking about. I can, I yeah. I, I can understand that. I I took my shahada back in the day, and like I said, I. I studied, I studied it all. Yeah. And and, and I, I, I accepted it. I accepted none of it. Like, but but what I did accept that whatever makes you a better, better person, person. Yeah. 
is that that's what you go with. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, man. You know what I mean? My family turned on me. Yeah. When I took my shot, a lot of my family members turned on on me. My my mother in law, Miss Yolanda Walker, did not. She she had my back. You know, when my mother passed away, she came to the Muslim. She came to our our, our Eid. When we did it, she came. Her and her and my um, sister in law came up there. They sat with us. You know how that feel. They sitting with us in the mm -hmm. eat. It was, <clears throat> and she said exactly what you said. If it make you a better person, baby, that's period. I'm yeah. with him. And other people in my family, you you you're a Christian. You you was born a Christian. No, I was born a Muslim. Mm. I was born a Muslim. You was born a Muslim. She was born a Muslim. Yeah, whoever, whoever adheres uh, to the, adheres to yeah, you know, exactly. the will of God. Yeah, submit. Yeah, submission. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, that's dope. That is, that's beautiful. That's absolutely dope. So listen, man. We um. We love having this conversation with you, and people of your ilk. I love being here with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, we come, we come yeah. from that same cloth. And no I, doubt about it. Seeing you do this now. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you too. Man, it's crazy though because seeing me do this. I'm proud of me too. Yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, because I'm crazy as a motherfucker <laughs> outside. Listen, to see you and every other brother that come from where we come from be able to change those stripes, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a great situation. A lot of people like the brother Bruce, and, you know, we got Henry Scott, and, Man. and, and you know, we can just go down the line. Eric of, Chappelle. Yeah. Uh, you remember Eric Chappelle? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. yeah. And we have lost all these soldiers, all these beautiful black kings, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of times it was by each other's hands. You know what I mean? And to see, and for us to be able to come up out of it and change the dynamic and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and change the narrative. It's a great thing, though, you know what I mean? And I love to see you doing what you're doing. You're shining. Yeah. I need you to continue to do that. No falling off. That's the rule, you know what I mean? Stay on your square, <coughs> you feel me? Don't allow nobody to rent no space in your head, and success is going to be the outcome. Self-accountability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, self-accountability. You know what? Yes, somebody, beautiful. Yeah, somebody told me that a long time ago. When I came home, that was the, like you said, that's the rule. When I came home, Hub yeah. called me and was like, come, you know, come to the shop. I didn't know what the shop was. And that's 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 what he called me for. Yeah. To see if I was all right. See yeah. where my head was. Right. That was probably like the you know, the that's who was produced you know what Hub was my executive when I was at that Yeah. Place. And we had a shout out Hub. Smart and guy. for him, you know, for mm -hmm. him to call me and yeah. go through that with me, talk to me like that, I, I, I couldn't, you know, I ain't, ain't no way in hell I'm going back like that. Yeah. You know, P.O., you know, Paul, that's my big bro. You Most know, definitely. And he, he stay on me. Yeah. Shorts stay on me when we talk, man, what you doing? What you been up to? And you, you need know. that. Yes. That, you yeah. need that. You need that brotherhood that. And, is and important. And without it, you know what I mean, it's um, a recipe for disaster. Yeah, you, you know see, what I mean. Who who comes back to Oakland and bring Mike Epps? Right. I couldn't have did that before. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, I knew him before this, but he he come here and you know he did now, the you know did the videos home. and now now he kicking it at the house. You know. He, yeah. It's it's a trip. The things I've done since I never thought I'd be able to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't have done it in that frame of mind. Right. For sure. So now you got more faith in yourself. And, and, yeah, got and, to. And so do I. Yeah. And I try to instill that in the people around me. You know what I mean? It's like Nike. Just, <laughs> Just do, do it. it. Yeah. Just do it. We be listening to Ray Ray and Junebug talking about these these prison tales. How uh, you supposed to do it like this and that? These niggas ain't made a dollar. Nike, which is a multi-billion, almost trillion dollar industry, they tell you what to do. Just mm. do it. Yeah. So I'm listening to Nike. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. For sure, man. Let the people know how to get in contact with you. Y'all can find me Thank on you. Instagram. Y'all can find me on Instagram, Pooman72. Um, you can find me on Facebook, um, Lawrence Thomas. Anybody who know my real name can find me. And I just got a Twitter account, Pooman72. Fucking with Dank. Fucking with Dank. Hello, fucking with hello. Dang. <laughs> Don't forget about the fucking with Dank clothing line. Yeah. He's coming with the strand. Go yeah. check out the new video. What's yeah. the name of it? All I know. 
All I know, you know what I mean? Shout out to pretty much BBR, Aldro, um, um, Media. Media. Oh, Dope Air. Yeah, most definitely Dope Air. He got the new Dope Air shoe on. Y'all see? You can throw that up for him. Let him yeah, see that. Yeah. These, no you know, collector's it. items. You know, black designers. <laughs> you know, black, black designers. Make mm -hmm. sure you got to go check that out. Whoa, um, um, work of art by Only Enzo. We got the um, uh, Chris Lockett and the boy, uh, uh, um, how did I forget that? Ricky Styles. Ricky Styles. Ricky Styles. Ricky Styles. I forgot you, Ricky Styles. Ricky Styles, Chris Lockett, fuck Cita, the rap Cita, game. Cita, Cita. Huh? Yeah, Cita. Cita. Cita, my nigga. You know what I mean? Um, we got a lot of shit going on. You guys stay tuned. Oh, wait. Shout out to Richie Rich. Oh, yeah. Thank Richie. you for the tip. Yeah, no doubt about it. Richie Thank you Rich, for capping which, on me. Which will be coming <laughs> soon. We're going to have a lot of... A lot, a, lot of, a lot of beautiful things coming. You guys just stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you go comment, like, comment, share. share, and do everything you need to do to help us continue to rise and be the best that we can be. Yes, you and me? thank you for all your all the support. Thank you for all the views, the comments. We are so appreciative of everything. And mm -hmm. one more sure. thing. We got a coffee so shop on the corner right here called huh? Red Bay Cafe. Listen. Red Bay Cafe, we're going to have a commercial up um, during this segment and some more other segments. And if you use the code 211, then you get 15% off your whatever you purchase, rather you purchase it online or in person. 15% off, you know coffee is expensive now, and they got some of the best coffee in town. <laughs> Red Bay Coffee on Fruitvale and International Boulevard. Love, peace, hair grease. Can you dig it? Do <laughs> it!